Um, I wrote this for a friend who doesn't get heard enough. Story time. First time magnetic pull, eyes look, lock, whoa. Breath, gone, heartbeat, listen. Am I still alive? What? What is this feeling? Excited? No. Nervous? No. Scared. Red. Cheeks, it's hot, sweat, rip, drop, tick, tock, no words, just glares, no cares about anything else. This is the most exciting feeling a heart, a swirling mind, a whole body tingling has ever, ever, ever felt. Reach for words. Wait, where am I? Oh yeah, the most exciting moment of life. This is a first crush. Oh whoa, this is real. Lost and loving it in a sea, unexplored, untraveled, as if no one has ever felt like this before. Waves of emotion splashing, thrashing against the walls of my veins. Oh, whoa, this is real. Filled with Fs, frenzied first date, first kiss, first touch, first rush, first hand holding fate, first tension, feet in clouds flow, so natural, soft, but rough, kiss this, this bliss, this twist, this risk of newness, oh whoa, this is real. Whoever said young love isn't real didn't allow themselves to feel these emotions too much to deal as they whip through like they're on tracks, hot wheels spinning off track, making no sense, driving down the back and up the spine again, shivers totally inconvenient, but oh whoa, this is real. Now let me ask you, who were the two, the two, the pair, the lovebirds in that story? My story, their story? Your friend's story, your brother's, your mother's story, your story. Was it a girl and a boy? A man and a woman? A Sandy and a Danny? A boy, a boy, a man, a man, a Danny, and a Danny? Or a girl, a girl, a woman, a woman, a Sandy plus Sandy? I wonder, is that a rhetorical question, a stupid reflection? Of course it's a nut and a bolt, a yin and a yang, a female and a male. So of course you pictured Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> Yet, that's not wrong, that's not what I'm here to say, but it's not the only right when you think of two people this way. Aren't all bodies capable of being together, of fitting together like puzzle pieces? Aren't all bodies capable of loving, giving, hugging, and kissing? Our bodies, unable to be lent out on leases, are inescapable. Encasing our true being, our bodies. B, O, D, Y, B, butt, blood, brain, O, occipital, bone, O, dir, D, dental, deltoid, diaphragm, Y, yams, yellow, bone marrow, but just as these are anatomy to our bodies, so is sexuality to our being. All these wrapped up, closed up, sealed up were a gift to us. And just as you were given the gift of a brain that thinks and dreams of a heart that feels and pumps of veins that rush and flush your cheeks with excitement of that very first crush, just as you were given the gift of a mind that speaks of a mouth that talks of two eyes that see color and difference, undecided, just given. These gifts that shift from me to you to him to her where no two bodies are alike, thank God, just as no two moments are, just as no first is ever like the second. And this, this resists to consist with the same, the norm is in our bodies, just like our sexuality. No, no, it's not some abstract concept way out there in space. Sexuality, <laughs> whoa, it's real. No, no, you war makers, it's not some choice made to make more trouble in this world of struggle. No, no, you ignorant non-listeners, it's not a disease that catches on to those who sneeze a certain way and contract a virus that bleeds and leads to an attraction of the opposite sex. Just as we don't have choice in the length of our height, in the range of our sight, in the shape of our feet, in the width of our nose, in the thickness of our hair, just as she or he could be short, nearsighted, broad-footed, that's my last name, broad-foot, <laughs> thin-haired, big nose, she or he could also love the color pink, or be really outgoing, or be gay, or be allergic to hay, or be straight, or be great with kids, but these are gifts given to us before we can even talk about all of this. 
So throw those I Apple iPod Deaf Express buds out of your ear while you can still hear and <laughs> listen to the queer version. Because not everything is Romeo and Juliet. And real life colors a whole rainbow outside the lines Shakespeare looks. <laughs> Thank you.